Piping can be a nice detail to add to any seam, such as on a collar or lapel or cushion cover. You can use store-bought piping that's already prepared, or you can make your own. To make your own, you're going to want to cut a strip on the bias. Being on the bias is especially important if your piping is going to be going around a curve. If you're just doing straight edges, then you're probably okay with using a strip cut from the straight of grain. For it to be able to bend around curves, cutting it on the bias is important. You can also buy piping cord, and that's what you're going to use to create your piping. So the strip I'm using is an inch and a half wide or four centimeters wide by whatever length you need for the perimeter of your seam. You can buy a special piping foot, but a zipper foot works just fine. So I'll take the piping cord and wrap the piece and wrap my bias strip around it, wrong sides together. So good side facing out. And then I'm just gonna sew beside that piping cord. I'm using a straight stitch, but with my needle over to the left. And I don't wanna sew too close to the piping on this first stitch. We'll be sewing closer later when we sew it into the seam, but we don't want this first stitch to show. I don't want to go too close at this time. So pushing the piping cord off to the left, and then I can even kind of drag my fingernail down there, down beside the piping cord to see exactly where the edge of it is, but that I don't want to sew there quite yet. So now I'm laying the piping cord onto the right side of one of the pieces that I'll be joining together. And at this point, now I can sew a little closer into that piping. Okay, and if you were going just on a straight seam, you would just continue off the end there. But I want to show you how you can make the piping turn the corner. As I approach the corner, I'm leaving the needle down so I can lift my presser foot and right at the pivot point. If you can visualize your sewing line here and where you turn to your sewing line here, you want to cut, just make a little snip almost to your stitching on that piping cord. And then when I get to my snip, sink my needle down, lift and pivot. And that piping is able to then turn around the corner and carry on. And if you can see, I'm sewing just to the left of my first stitch so that that first stitch does not end up showing on the seam. If it's pulling or binding right at the corner, I can just snip a tiny bit closer to my stitch so that it is relaxed around that corner. Okay, my second piece now goes on top, but I want to sew it from this side where I can already see those lines of sewing that I've done already. And now I wanna be sewing even a little bit closer toward the piping. Pivot right at the same spot and come across and again I'm just a little hair closer to the piping. So before I turn the corner I'll trim off the excess fabric around the corner to reduce the bulk. And then having a piped corner actually makes it easier to poke out a nice clean corner there and the corner lays flat because I clipped all the excess. I don't see any of the stitching lines in there. It's just super nice and clean. Looks good. So that's piping.